Rocket Punch Army. What's up, everyone? Uh, it's Chachi Power here with uh, Rocket Punch Army. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an unboxing uh, for something I got from HLJ. Uh, you know, shipping questions and stuff like that. How how do they ship? What's their service like? That seems to pop up a lot, a lot on forums. So. Uh, what I wanted to do is uh, start doing unboxings of the various uh, stores and how long it takes to get here, any problems I have, how it's resolved, stuff like that, stuff to help you guys out and stuff to maybe make sure that uh, all companies you know, keep up with what they're supposed to do. Um, now HOJ I've been dealing with robot wise maybe three years, three, four years. Uh, before that um, my history with them goes back as far as I guess over 10 years. Uh, I used to order a lot of little little cars from them and stuff to resell um, when the yen was better. But uh, yeah, so now I'm dealing with them as far as uh, you know, getting my robot stuff. Um, one of the companies I deal with, uh, and they're great. Um, so I have no complaints uh, as far as the customer service. So we're gonna unbox this. This is an order I placed. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, on the 15th, it is now the 19th. Um, I used FedEx, which was the uh, cheaper option. For some reason, it almost came out to the same as Sal, so I just chose uh, FedEx. And I think it was EMS that was 20% off, and it still came out to more, so I chose FedEx. Now, that's four days ago, and that's including the weekend. Um, so really, it's like a couple of days. And on top of that, I forgot to change the P.O. box for FedEx because EMX will ship to a P.O. box, FedEx does not. So uh, that kind of delayed the package a bit and still four days. 15th, I ordered it. Um, you know, they had to process everything and ship it out. And I know not a lot of people uh, complain about HLJ's uh, processing time. For some reason, it was ridiculously fast. Uh, normally, they do have a few days of processing. It all depends on holidays and weekends and stuff like that, but I didn't expect to get it this quick, um, but I did. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it. This is the box. It comes in a nice Hobby Link Japan box. Um, it's not beat up at all, really. It's got a couple creases, but I mean, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this for you guys. Alright guys, here we are. Uh, first, I'm going to take out all this paperwork. This is stuff uh, you may or may not need. It's always good to hold on to stuff, have proof that you paid for stuff for insurance reasons or whatever. It's always good to hold on to your paperwork. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and carefully open this up. Obviously, you don't want to cut anything inside, so just be very careful. What's funny is the FedEx guy almost tore down my door just trying to get me to answer. I have a big sign that says FedEx packages, please ring the doorbell in the back. Um, so Tad faded, so I don't blame him for not reading it, but he rang a doorbell like repeatedly, 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 and then started banging on the, the screen door. And I came running out, felt like yelling at him, but I was just happy to get my package. Alright guys, so this is the contents. I've only ordered two things here. And one is a lot bigger than I thought. Wow. Alright, first you'll notice HLJ is using these little padded pillows. Sometimes they do shrink wrap boxes with a cardboard backing which I've never had a problem with. Some people say their stuff gets knocked around. I've never had a problem with HLJ's stuff. A couple of times I've gotten crushed boxes and that's kind of an exception because it was really a huge box with tons and I'm talking tons of stuff guys I, I'm not even gonna get into that it was just a lot of stuff a couple got boxes got crushed but when you place your basic order it's usually never a problem you'll see that they did this neatly all right um, here is a brave Gokin ride on armor Mospita oh, not in the camera there sorry um, here it is uh, you'll see it's in perfect mint condition so 
Um, pretty happy. There's no nothing crushed anywhere. <laughs> you guys are probably like, oh my god, why did he buy that? Because uh, some people do know that this has a lot of issues, stuff falling apart and whatever. But it was being sold at a good price. And you know, I, I watched Josh from Collection DX's review, and he said it. He was a little scared at how light it was. It almost feels like a model kit, which is true. So, just look out for that and probably be doing a review on that. Now what I'm really looking forward to is this Makanda uh, Robo DX version. I missed out on the regular version for CMs and it's going for tons of money. And HLJ had this on sale. This is the DX version, which means you get a huge, gigantic box, and you get a, a ton of accessories. So you'll see this is a huge box, and it actually got to me in pretty good shape. You know, if you really need to nitpick, there's a couple of dents here, and, you know, a little, I don't know if I can fit it in the camera, like right there. But overall, got here perfect. And I'm sure those those creases were already there because uh, as I feel the box here, as I touch it, it's really the inside pushing up against it, probably a plastic tray. But overall, very happy. So, and then that's really, really it. They have the other pillows here, and that's about it, guys. So uh, stay tuned for another um, unboxing. I think next I have something coming in from... I believe it's Amiami. So we'll see how that goes. They're usually pretty good with their packing too. So stay tuned for that. And that'll be it guys. Bye-bye. Uh,